our Kia. Want to hear something scary? Curse of the Wendigo. A change of scenery is often just what is needed to break free from the shackles of bad habits. However, some bad habits can be so deeply ingrained that without help, they can break you. Shania was a natural-born hustler. Once she knew there was money to be made, she couldn't stop until she got all of it. Unfortunately, she often did this at the expense of her family. This time, she'd realized she could make a profit by selling the clothes her sister had pushed farthest back in her closet. But things went too far when Shania decided she could get more selling the items her sister had just bought instead. Her parents were furious. They sent her to her uncle Kamal to work at his animal training center in Manitoba, Canada for the summer. Her parents hoped that if she learned to train animals, then maybe she would learn some discipline herself. Uncle Kamal's animal center, along with the usual training services, also took in previously wild and or hurt animals. One large albino fox named Kane took a special liking to Shania. The large snow white fox had three legs and beautiful amethyst eyes and followed her everywhere. Her uncle's home and training facility were surrounded by dense woods that were teeming with wildlife. But there was something about the woods that made Shania very uneasy. At night, she would hear the sounds of the animals and then sudden silence. When that happened, she'd frequently glimpse antlers slowly moving past her window in the distance. The white fox cane began coming into her room at night to sleep on her bed. And while it was cute at first, it started to keep her up at night as he growled and barked at whatever was prowling outside. So, unable to find any lasting peace at her uncle's sanctuary, she returned to the thing she knew best, making money. She figured out that she could ask Uncle Kamal's clients to pay for their training sessions in cash, claim they had canceled the session, but actually reschedule them for after the summer. She'd then pocket that money. Soon, she'd amassed a tidy summer fortune, but she wanted more. Her usual greed was different here. It grew and permeated other parts of her life. She developed an insatiable appetite for meat. No matter how much she ate, the hunger only grew. One day soon after that, everything changed. Uncle Kamal was bitten by one of the dogs. And horrifyingly, the smell of his bloody wound was enticing to her. Upon realizing that, she was overcome with panic and fear. Terrified of her growing changes, she bolted to her room and searched the internet. She discovered the First Nations legend of the Wendigo. A Wendigo was an evil creature that slowly possessed the greedy, pushing them to revel in their greed and also cannibalistic desires. The curse of the Wendigo was horrific indeed. Suddenly, she heard growling and looked up from her laptop to find Kane. When she reached out to pat him, he snapped at her before running away. Shania pursued Kane, but was stopped by her bandaged, limping uncle. With a stern and disappointed look, he told her he'd found out about all of her canceled clients. He called them, and they all told him a very different story from hers. Shania realized just how greedy she'd become, caught in this latest hustling scheme. Tears streamed down her cheeks and she ran off instead, deep into the woods. Something rustled in the bushes ahead of her. Cain emerged, aggressive and snarling. Every one of the fox's white hair stood on end as he growled. His amethyst-like eyes flared and he leaped right at Shania. She screamed as Cain flew past her and attacked the antlered beast creeping up behind her. It was the Wendigo. The gaunt, ash-gray-skinned creature's hide stretched taunt over its tall, nearly skeletal frame, eyes deep in its sockets and stinking of death. It tried to throw the fox away with its antlered head, but Kane was too fast 
and continuously savaged the creature's throat and face. A very human-like scream ripped from its bloody, tattered lips as Cain continued his attack. Finally, the claws of the Wendigo slashed into the fox, and as he yelped, Shania ran for her life. The screams of the creatures echoed behind her as she ran through the woods back towards her uncle's place. She thought the fox defending her might mean that there was still hope to free herself of the curse of the Wendigo. But with every step, her greed and hunger grew. Her skin turned a mottled gray before her eyes as she felt antlers pushing to break free from her skull. And she had only one desire, to eat human flesh. She tried to resist, but she could smell her uncle's blood on the air. She heard a familiar growl and looked up to see the large battle-worn albino fox bathed in red from Wendigo blood. As he leapt at her, fangs bared, Shania smiled in relief. Kane couldn't save her, but at least he'd save her uncle from her. I, Dutch, and Fiano, remain.